It's a year since we visited these detention centres here in Libya, and you can see the conditions haven't improved. In fact, the numbers here are greater than ever before. Uh, these men are from Senegal, they're from Eritrea, they're from countries all across sub-Saharan Africa. And if we just look in here, Jimmy, if you just have a look in there, this bathroom is shared by 500 men. Uh, they complain about the facilities here, not just that many of them, of course, are Muslims, they need to wash before praying, but it's very difficult for them to keep clean here. They don't have a change of clothes. Some of them have been held here for three months, some of them as long as seven months, say they don't have enough uh, food to eat, though the Libyans say they're doing their absolute best. And if we just have a look in, in this room here, you can see everywhere, it's very, very crowded. Uh, these men tell us that they're determined, though, to keep trying to get to Europe despite the fact that it's a very dangerous crossing and that that crossing is getting more and more dangerous every year. They tell us that life in Africa, uh, their African countries, is so bad that it's worth the risk. And also they say that life here in Libya, because of all the political instability, means it's impossible for them to live here, impossible for them uh, to survive and to work another motivation for them to try and escape to Europe.